Hello everyone, this is Ma Mary and I hope you're all doing well and that you're staying home and staying safe. This is a very difficult time in the world and I hope our videos will bring you some joy and some light. So I hope that you like, subscribe to our channel and comment on the video as well as sharing this video to your friends. And I hope you all enjoy this video. Today we'll be reading a very special book, but before we get into that, I, there are certain things that I have to do as a reader, which are read the book to you all, ask you questions, point out different cool parts on the drawings in the book, and things like that, and sometimes explain certain things. But I have a few things that I would like to ask of you. So if you would, please, answer the questions when I ask them. So if I ask a question, please just shout out the answer to the screen or whatever you're watching on. I also wanted to ask that you comment down below and I might be able to give you a shout out and I hope you're all doing well. Thank you. Last but not least, please practice the virtue from the virtues card and try to practice it as much as you can throughout your whole life even. Thank you so much. Let's get into the book. So today we're reading a very special book. The name of the book is Keep Climbing Girls. The book is by B. E. Richards, illustrated by R. Gregory Christie and introduced by Lisa Gay Hamilton. So this is a very special book. By the title, I bet you think about girls climbing. I'm a girl and I used to climb a lot when I was younger and it's normally looked down upon. But if you enjoy doing something and you do it safely, I think you should definitely do it. And there's no such thing as a boy's thing or a girl's thing. We're all equals. So let's get into the book. Keep climbing, girls. This is the first page. The introduction. And then here's the beginning of the book. You could tell by the way Miss Nettie stood, hands on her hip, and on her forehead an unbelieving frown. The word she was about to speak would indeed be profound. Hmm, it looks like she was gonna say something important. See what she has to say. Come down out of that tree before you break your neck, she said. Come down. Then she'd whirl right around through the door, confident that she need say no more. Wow, that was quick. She just went right through the door. And it seemed like she didn't think she needed to say anything else. But Miss Nettie hadn't reckoned with the little girl's ambition, one that she must satisfy at risk of extreme contrition. So this girl wanted to do something and her mom said she shouldn't. So let's see what she did. What? Break one's neck from the very first bow? Ridiculous supposition. Why, for goodness sakes, one can even see the ground. And my goodness, doesn't she know? The path of life goes up, not down. So this is a very fun book. It's almost like a poem. She said, how could someone break their neck from the very first branch? That's a crazy idea then it's also about saying that you can even see the ground so she doesn't think she could get hurt. And life goes up and not down. Miss Nettie pops out again to view the situation. Over her face, there comes this time a look of consternation. She doesn't seem happy, does she? You see, that child's ignoring me. Climbed right up to the middle of that tree. Obviously, this requires some diplomacy. So she must have to ask some other people to help her kid get out of that tree. All right, she said, using the blade of shame. You're no little girl, she said, showing her great disdain. So she said she's not a little girl and she seemed very upset. That's what disdain means. 
You're a tomboy, that's what you are. You're going to have tomboy scars. Then with mighty flourish, she'd whirl around through the door, confident that she need say no more. So she, was, she said something sort of mean to her daughter. So then she just left. She didn't think she had to say anything else. But Miss Nettie hadn't reckoned with the wisdom of little girls, for even they know little boys have the upper hand in this world. It's true. Saying that her mom said that the wisdom of little girls is not enough. So even the little girl knows that boys and girls aren't treated equally. The only way to make a bid for a girl's equality is to climb right up the toppermost bough of the very tallest tree. And my goodness, you can see all the way to Hooden's grocery. So this is sort of like saying something literally, but not really meaning it. So she said that the way to have equalities between boys and girls is to climb up to the top of the tallest tree. So I don't think she means like a real tree, but she means like to do stuff that you know that people think are only for boys. Miss Nettie hurries out again and shouts angrily, Come down from there right now, she says, her voice tight with fear. Come down from there this minute or I'll break your neck, you hear? She seems very angry, doesn't she? But a little girl's victorious can't hide her childish glee to Miss Nettie, so put out that she's a girl, could climb a tree. So her mom doesn't think she girls can climb trees, but obviously she's proving that wrong. Though the braids be pulled, the ear be tweaked, twon't dim the brave adventure. So even if she gets punished or if people get angry at her, she won't stop being adventurous. The moral is, keep climbing, girls, and let no one prevent you. And that is the end of this book. So, looking at the moral of the story, it's saying even if everyone is saying you can't, you can keep going forward. These are the wise words from our Starfish International Pledge. So I feel like this is very, very important. Even if the entire culture is saying you can, or even if people are saying you can, you can still keep going forward and going up. So let's move into the virtue. The virtue for today is determination. We'll start with a verse from the Quran. O ye who believe, when ye meet a force, be firm and call God into remembrance much and often that ye may prosper. So it's saying that even if all the odds are stacked against you, but if you believe in something, whether it be God or yourself or even both, you can still make it through. So whether you believe in God or not, or you are not a Muslim or you are a Muslim, I feel like it's very important to understand that this is a very important verse that can bring light and life into your life. Determination is focusing your energy and efforts on a particular task and then sticking with it until it's finished. Determination is using your willpower to do something even when it isn't easy. It means you care about something so much that even when it's really hard, you are being tested. You still keep going. So even though it can be really hard, and even though it was really hard for her, the little girl in the story, by everyone telling her that she can't climb trees and that she can do something, she continued and she was very determined. So I'd love to ask you guys if you guys can please practice determination these are signs that you are a determined person or different things that someone who's very determined does signs of success the practice of determination 
I set goals for myself. I focus my full attention on what I'm doing. I resist distractions. I keep going even if it gets difficult. And I finish what I start. Determination helps me achieve my goals. So, if you're at the end of this video, you finished what you started, you finished the video. So please practice determination as much as you possibly can because it's really important and it will benefit you absolutely. Sending all of my love, good wishes and prayers to you all. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Bye-bye.